Hello everybody, Funshine X here, and this is Funshine X's Feed the Beast, episode 12. We are back in the world. I took a little bit of a break. Um, to, I had a lot of uh, videos saved up, so I've been breaking it into pieces and uploading it to YouTube, so hopefully you've been able to watch a bunch of those and enjoyed it. Um, I've read all the comments uh, that have been coming in. I just want to say hi to my subscribers, all the new ones that have uh, started watching the series. Um, Thank you for all your comments, your likes, and, and everything like that. So keep uh, keep commenting. Tell me what's what's good, what's bad, what you like. And one of the common requests I got is some people don't like SPACs. And I guess I I like SPACs a lot. Um, but we're going to give them... Episode 12 will be the out-of-the-box generic texture pack. So we get our pretty fire there. And we get the pretty progress bar. I don't know. It... A lot of the times I notice this texture pack looks pretty bad with the frame rate that I get, but we'll we'll give it a try. Um, another comment I got was, "Do I ever live stream?" I've tried live streaming before, but I just don't have the machine for it. Um, it the FPS is just way too horrible, and uh, as much as I would like to, so I can interact with people more, I, I just don't have the machine that's able to do that. So. Sometime in the future, when I upgrade my computer, uh, we'll, we'll be able to do that. So, what are we going to do for episode 12? Well, I want to just start cranking out EMC to the max. Um, some ways we can do that are a lot of the forestry uh, builders and you know things like the uh, the harvesters and the, the pumpkin farms and all that kind of stuff. They build quite fast and don't take a lot uh, of things to produce. And they're all, you know, if we put enough pipes and power on them, they're completely just uh, automated. We don't have to do anything except pump our EMC into our uh, condensers. Or, yeah, so I think that's a, a good place to go. Um, I know there's another method. Um, if you've watched some of the map creators' uh, live streams, they had a competition between LRM and, and Direwolf, and LRM kind of destroyed him and set a new record. Uh, because she just used red power. Obviously, the creative red power could know how to use that to its extremes. But uh, uh, the flax, I've always felt, is a little bit overpowered because you, you know, you harvest one seed and it turns into like four more seeds and, and four stringers. I don't know. It's just you get a lot back. So taking advantage of, of the MC gain on that and maxing them out and automating with bone meal and deployers, uh, she was able to beat the map really, really fast. But I'm not really in the, into the, you know, try and beat this map as fast as possible. I'm just using it more as in a guide on, on what I should build, you know, and instead of just going, hmm, what am I going to build today? I don't know. And building something random or, or trying to meet some objectives. So that's how I'm playing this map, and, uh, and I'm, I'm enjoying it a lot. So I hope you guys are too. So I wanted to go down to the mob uh, kill zone and show you some changes I made there and you'll probably notice one of them already when I was looking off the screen is I've got glass going all the way down so my mobs don't fall out they were still having problems just landing everywhere so I turned a ton of EMC into glass and built this big tube and also you can see a gigantic brass pipe system that goes all the way there so I used a couple diamonds to get a bunch of copper and tin and made that up so let's go check it out Okay, I'm not going to die. Uh, oh yeah, and I changed this a little bit. Um, I put my deployers down here on the bottom. I probably only needed one, um, because I can think they can do a 3x3 a three three area. But I already had two built, so this way we, we'll get them no matter what. So the items will go in the pipe, and right now they're going to the chest. But... If the chest is full, they'd all of a sudden go up there, but uh, I don't need the chest anymore. So I'm going to go everywhere. Okay. So, let's wait for a couple of mobs to die here, and see how long it takes for, for all of this to jump up there. And uh, after I built this, I realized maybe I could have just put an ender chest right here, and, and they would be instantly teleported up there, but... Yeah, I've got this nice gigantic brass pipeline now. So there goes some zombie meat. Um, I got a ton of drops, but I really 
it's not a big deal. <laughs> Alright, there it all goes. So we'll go and uh, see if we can beat it to our condenser. Uh, yeah, so the, the brass pipes, they feed directly into the condenser, and that thing burns them up before you know, they can really get stacked up at all. So Remind me, I need to grab this water and put it back down, just so I don't get all that spill. That's from that gravel drop, the gravel that dropped through the hole here. Made that mess down there. So the items go all the way, well, mobs go down, items come up. And uh, go in here, connect with the cobble tube, and into the condenser. Did an item just fall out of there? I thought I just saw an item like fall out, which is interesting. I don't want that to happen. Oh, you know what it is? It's. I bet it's gunpowder. It won't go in there and it's falling out. Let's watch it. Here comes some gunpowder. Going up in and. Okay. Never mind. Can you condense gunpowder? Um, I was going to put a filter on there and remind how I remember. Um, so to put the, uh, you know, all, the all, all everything else into here, put the gunpowder uh, into the collector. And I already put, stuck a bunch in there, but let's give this a try what happens. Oh, okay. Wow, and it's worth a lot. Holy crap. All right, we are gonna have a ton of diamonds now. So let's put everything in here that uh, I grabbed down below. <laughs> Look at our diamond count, that's sweet. Okay, so yeah, I'll just keep condensing this, or collecting it and upgrading it to the collector, that's fine. Could get an antimatter relay here as well, but condenser works so well for what I need it to do. Uh, let's see, we haven't used our carpenter. I used my furnace to get some of these red oiler wires. And uh, that's about it. So let's uh, let's start doing some forestry. I do not have a pumpkin farm, so let's, or a melon farm, let's do that. So we need I believe an arboretum is the base for that. Let's get the actual pumpkin farm. And we have a harvester. Yeah, so we have an arboretum, two melons, two pumpkins, and some glass. Arboretum is really easy. Sturdy machines and gold and glass. Oh, that was the old one, right? Okay. And sturdy means a bunch of bronze. have much copper tin, but I've got plenty of EMC, don't I? So let's grab, oh, I probably don't need that much, but oh. Copper, I do need a lot of. Yeah, none of uh, convenient inventory seems to work with the transmutation table. But, so I just shift click a lot. Okay. Bronze. So we need it, right? Yeah. Wow, <laughs> I got the perfect amount. That's That was totally not planned, but I like it. Okay, and then we're gonna need 
a couple of these going forward, so might as well get a bunch. Don't think I can land in this. Nope. Okay, I get some gold. Let's take this back out. Not in a game. Cool. And glass. Or should I have some? Gold in the corners, of course. I read them. Um, pumpkin. Harvester takes a logger, which is diamonds in a straight machine. Okay, so we got those two. And now we need to change them into the pumpkin version, so. Where do we have pumpkins? We don't have any. Pumpkin. This is the hardest part of the game, I think. There we go. Pumpkin, melon. And we need two. Uh, I think we'll need four. Because each of them takes two. Okay. And now we need eight more glass. <coughs> And sure, let's finish the our, our pumpkin farm forestry items. Harvester. Farm. Okay, and let's find a good place for these. Uh, let's see. Be close to you. Let's do it right here. Little tools. Tools are dying. I was watching the um, live stream by the map creator today, and uh, got some interesting. He's got some interesting plans for the uh, next version of the, of the map. The one v one versus one. There's also a single player. And uh, it's going to be all with Minecraft 1.2.3, so he's waiting on mods to be updated. I think the bucket plugins are coming tomorrow. And uh, soon after that, we should have all our multiplayer SMP mods and get that started. And I have an exciting announcement uh, that will come later in regards to that. So stay tuned. Okay, forgot what I was doing. Cobble. <laughs> Need a platform. Oh, did it. Yeah, that's fine. Let's make this with regular stone. This thing needs a way to say, I want a stack of this. This should be enough. I'm gonna throw these two things in the chest because I don't want to fall and try to lose those. Five, six, seven, eight. And I think we need to go out more. Okay. 
just want to platform as I believe when this stuff uh, harvests, it turns it to sand. So that would all just fall down to the bottom. We don't want that happening. And I do not have any torches out here. Okay. Oh, there we go. <laughs> My pinky got tired. Good thing I didn't bring those engines out. Go through that hole. Shift clicking in. Click, 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 click. Does anyone know if the other uh, convenient inventory mod works with transmutation tables? I think it's called inventory tweaks. Let's check that out. I haven't used it before, but. That would be nice if it worked. Okay. All right, let's put them over here. So one, two, three. Seven, two, three. Really have nothing to talk about right now, so I'm going to cut the inventory and really cut the video and just finish off this platform really quick. Okay, so I built out the platform, and uh, if I put the arboretum, or not the arboretum, but the pumpkin farm right on the ground. It's going to replace this with dirt, uh, what I just built, and then it's going to turn it to sand when I harvest it. So I need to put it up in the air. So we'll start with that guy. I like the scary pumpkin facing my base. And uh, put it longer on top of it. And now we need dirt and seeds. It's weird it's called a pumpkin farm. When you make it with melons. Is it, can you put melon seeds in there? I wonder if I'll try. Probably not as worth as much EMC, but for variety it might be fun. Pipes, Good pipes. Drain the sky. Red 
redstone, so give me don't need a ton. Okay, so oh we might need more actually. Because I think it takes one to one. Oh that works. We really only need That guy and that guy, I think we are good. Need some coal. So let's put two of those back in and get some charcoal. And we need some dirt. Quite a bit of dirt, actually. Let's get one stack and then we'll leave it running. I'll come back and get some more if we need it. Over to the pumpkin farm. It's going to eat itself up. Uh, dirt. Seeds. Meld seeds go in there. Let's, let's see what it does. Power is on. Start building. Not sure what you're doing. I think I might have to build up some energy first. Take you off because I don't want you stealing a powder power. I know forestry items sometimes take power even when they're not being used, so. Can't build up the speed. There it goes. Oh, I can build up far enough over. It's all gonna turn to sand. I can't really build under it. Okay, well that presents a problem, but we can do this. Take all these guys back. Oh, I need that one. I need my stone and I need a pipe. Okay. And I need a bucket. Since I was going to do this anyway, thank you very much. What are you planting? Are you using any of the melon seeds? It is. Okay. Call it a pumpkin farm, but it use anything. Fine. That doesn't break anything below it. No, I think you're good. And swim up. Okie dokie. Kind of a waste, but stone, right? Better be enough. But there it goes. Planting pumpkins and melons. Did we run out of dirt? Yeah, we did. Of course, it's running. Wasting my charcoal.
Yeah, no way really to grab it all. More dirt. Oh, that's not dirt. More dirt for you. up with this water. Oh, made it, made it. Okay. You got dirt again? Now oh, you're out of energy. Okay, have your truck back. It's weird, some of it has died. There's maybe no light. Yeah, it probably needs light. Let's do it. is a pumpkin farm. few more blocks. I know I'm doing this bad. I keep running back and forth. I just haven't planned this very well. If this looks bad. I'll just transmute it. Let's see. There sounds good. Of course I may have brought gravel, which will just fall off the edge. I need something better than that. Oh, what did I do? block just disappeared. Did an enderman take it? Oh, we got spiders. Enderman be stealing my farm blocks. What's up with that? Do -do -do -do. 
to light here. All right, we got tons of light now. You're out of steam, but hopefully you'll fix that. Kind of dirt as well. That's a trick, you just get something out you don't want, but then burn it as soon as you find something you do want. Right, more dirt, more charcoal. Eh. Might as well get a lot, right? That's going to take a lot of clicking. The thing about using the charcoal is probably too much energy for that machine, so. We probably don't want to leave it running full time just when it's harvesting. So maybe I'll change it with a timer and put it like on 10 minutes or something and. Uh, with a flip-flop so it just goes 10 minutes on 10 minutes off or five minutes on off i don't know we'll find a good a good ratio so let's put a couple more. for now we can have some dirt again you're already getting sand where are you getting sand i don't know somehow it's creating sand already Now that we have light on there, it should stay harvested. And I'm hoping with the current version, these still grow on the harvested land. Because I know that they don't require it anymore. But, so I really can just turn you off now. More seeds, okay. If that's what you need, you can get it. Where's my pumpkin seeds? You're about the same in the sea, aren't you? This is just not fun. Oh, didn't we have them? We missed them. I should really keep one of what I... Hey, there they are, and they're just hiding. Burn all this junk back. We don't need... Okay, back to pumpkin seeds. I think the nice thing about this is once it... um. Plant them. You really don't need to plant them ever again. So that'll be nice. Alright, so it's going to create sand for some reason. I don't remember why it creates sand or for what reason, but sand is the output. 
dirts the input. Pumpkin seeds we won't really ever need again after it finishes planting here. Guess I could have planted them myself. What's the fun in that? Any day. Come on, steam engine. I know you can do it. There it goes. Planting away. I don't know where it's planting, but it's... There it goes. Right over there. Are we going to have enough? I want to keep one just in case. Wow, none done. So maybe it's got enough to cover. Oh yes, yeah, so it doesn't plant one here because that one can grow there. This one is there. I gotcha. All right. Uh, I don't want to wait. We're gonna get in bone mill. Not enough? Some iron? Oh, we just have never learned bone mill. Okay. I know I've forgotten to put a lot of things in this table. Pistons being one of them. Alright, let's do a good chunk of them over here. And some of these guys, I should have let that one grow, he was already pretty tall. Make me some pumpkins. Alright, now we need to decide what are we going to do with the pumpkins. And for that I'm going to use logistics pipes. I know they're not part of the standard set of mods for this map, but they're just way too convenient <laughs> for, for dragging stuff around without having to bother with filters and, and everything like that. So. Uh, we will set that up so next episode we will place energy to our harvester once the pumpkins have started growing and uh, yeah we'll take that we'll pass all the pumpkins over into our condenser and our EMC should start coming up incredibly fast this thing the anime, you don't even see it come in the chest it's burning it so fast so I guess that means we need more gobble generators or more layers on our mom farm, more pumpkins. And that stuff's coming just pretty slow, so yeah, I think we need a better mob grinder. There's more layers on it. Come on, pumpkins grow. Wanted to see one of you grow. But uh, that's episode 12 for you. Hope you liked using the default texture pack. Uh, Click thumbs up if you liked it. If not, comment that you want to go back to specs. Um, we'll just go with majority wins. And uh, thanks to my new subscribers. I hope you guys keep watching. And stay tuned for an exciting announcement on the 1.2.3 version of this map, which will be out shortly. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.